Red light cameras, whether you're for them or against them, if you get caught running one, you're going to get a ticket. But now an Orlando attorney is fighting them in an Orange County courtroom. He claims they're unconstitutional. And you know what? If he is successful, it could pave the way for others who want to contest those tickets as well. Robert Escano, he's an attorney from Orlando Ticket Clinic. He has been taking red light tickets to court, and there's a lot of people waiting to see how successful he is. Robert, what's the basis really for your argument here? Because if you are successful, I'm sure others are going to follow suit. Well, we had three arguments that we laid out on Tuesday. The first was the equal protection argument. The second was the due process argument, and the third was that the contract was illegal. Okay, now due process, when you're talking about that, are we saying um, you're going to get a ticket, you're going to be looking at it and go, you know what, it, I'll just pay it and I won't even be bothered to take it to court. We believe they're coercing people to do that because they ask them to pay $158. What they don't tell them in the, on the flip side is if they go to court, they can get four points on their license, they can pay almost double the fine and they could have an entry on their driving record forever. So you, you, you don't get any points if you just pay it? If you pay the 158, no points, no entry on your driving record, nothing at all. Is there anything to the fact that um, they, they, they're making a lot of money off of this? Is there a problem with that? They're making a ton of money, but the problem is, is that they repeatedly go on the media and say, we're doing this for safety reasons. Right. They're doing it because of the budget shortfall, and they're using this as a mechanism to make up for it. Do you think it would have made any kind of a difference? Because I know the the AG's office did not send anybody there to argue their side. I'm sure it would have made uh, somewhat of a difference. The judge was upset that nobody showed up. Um, I don't know re what response they would have had to our arguments, but I would have liked to have heard them. Okay, Robert Escano. Robert, very good of you to, uh, to stop in, and we'll see how well, uh, how successful you are. When, by the way, do you expect to get your uh, answer? According to the judge, late this week, which would be tomorrow or Monday. Okay, Robert, thanks. Thank you. By the way, for now, if you are caught running one of those red lights, it's going to cost you, as Robert said, 158 bucks. Orlando alone, we talked about how much money they brought in. Orlando alone has brought in nearly $7 million in fines since starting that program.